Hello all and welcome to video series of Excel VBA. In today's section, we will learn about if statement. Okay, so if statement we have like in a for syntax if then, if then, and if, then else, or we can use else if also in the same. So let's look at the if statement. So what is the if statement? The if statements loop or uh, st uh, this particular statement allow us to execute a statement basis on our condition so if if we have any decision making uh, decision making problem uh, for example like uh, if i have uh, 40 student in my class and uh, i have to find out how many has been passed if they have crossed the total marks after uh, out of 100 they have crossed the 35 then how many student has been passed in my class so that is like a uh, decision making if that person has been cleared uh, more than uh, 35 marks then uh, that person has been passed or else it will be failed so that kind of condition if we have so we can use if statements so we have the four kind of uh, syntax for this one first thing we write the if then we write the condition then and the statement it will be on single line if that can be done on the multiple line but we have to use and if if we are going for second line or third line okay and the third one is if condition we have given then we can use one statement else then we can use another statement and we can end if that one the same thing happen with else if okay so let's come with our exercise now so we will work on student grade so how i have given the example if student is more than 35 then it will be the pass and if it's less than then it will be fail okay so switch to our excel to see the actual action so I have opened my Excel before continuing to macro. Let's create our smaller, uh, smaller database. So name of student and total marks and grade. Okay. So I'll just make it. So I'll write the name rajesh and deepak deepa and anil sunil dhruv sejal okay that is enough i think and for marks i'll use the rent between function so i am sure that if you have used the basic excel of this one you have used so i'll just give the minimum number of 20 and i'll put the maximum number of 100 or 100 okay so it will generate my number between 20 to 34 so that number has been come okay i'll just copy this one and paste it as a value now okay i'll put it uh, 35 here and this will be say what will be my grade so I'll just doing the boarding of this one so now let's switch to our action window that is visual basic editor okay let's start the first syntax we will see if we want to give like if the person who has scored more than 35 that person should be the grade should be passed for that one so let's start our macro sub macro one and i'll just give the dim i as integer uh, okay i'll use the for loop here uh, i have discussed the for loop in my previous section so you can refer that one for um, i is equal to 2 
two eight and I'll press the next here and in this I'll use if okay if that particular B2 B3 B4 is greater than 35 that person should be the grade should be pass for that one so I am using the cell if I have to give the row index so row index will be moved from top to bottom so it will come from I which will taken from the for loop and the my column index will be fixed and dot value if we will not uh, write the dot value also then it will work greater than 35 then I'll just copy this one again control C dot offset and I'll use 0 comma 1 dot value is equal to pass okay so for this I have not used any and if here this is the single line statement uh, and the line says if the this particular value cell I or a cell 222 dot value is greater than 35 then offset of one column and press the value of pass so let's run this macro and what it will tell so if I'll run this macro then all the numbers which is more than 35 it's coming as in a pass okay this is the first syntax we can use if we have the one line statement and let's move to the next second one control C and sub macro 2 and I'll just copy this one and make the amendment in this one only so I'll just call control C and control V okay so now I have done so then and I'm coming here and if I'll try to run this one run, then it will give me error because if we are coming on the second line now we have to use the end if statement so let's try and what is the error it will give so I'll just press a F8 and it's saying next without 4 however we have given the 4 and that is next here this error is coming because we have not end if here if I'll write and if then it will run so if I'll clear this one and I'll run this macro then it will give me the value of the same thing pass 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 so whenever we are using the second line we have to use the and if this is the second syntax and let's move to our third one so I'll just copy this one only and we'll make the changes in this one okay so we have given the pass but now if you look at this one Rajesh and Deepak and Anil these are the person who has not clear 35 and we have to tell them that they are fail okay so how that can be used so I can use the else statement here and I use and I'll write the fail okay so if I'll run this one I have used the if then else and then it's an end if so I'll make the indent also so it will be readable so first I have used the for loop then if and if the person is getting more than 35 then it will be passed if person is less than 35 then it will be fails so let's run our macro and what is the result it's, it will give to us so let's see the result so I'll make it 
number three macro and I'll run so it has been given fail 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 but if you notice Anil is on 35 exactly so this person we can't say because we, we, we are telling that person is less than 35 then should be fail and person more than 35 it should be pass but Anil is on 35 so we can't say he is fail or that person is fail so we have to use another condition which say if the person is using or is on as per that condition is equal to 35 then that person like a re-evaluation of that particular exam or that person so I'm just using this one and I'm writing the macro 4 okay so now we are going to use else if else if and the, whatever the things we are using for if we are using that one also control C and control V okay else if less than or uh, less than 35 then person is fail but what is about the 35 so I'll just give one more else and then I write G value revaluation okay so what it will tell if person is more than 35 then it will be pass if less than it will fail and if it's an on 35 then it will come um, we can say boundary line neither fail or neither pass okay so let's clear this one and run it once again so we can see like in a person who is more than 35 the marks is total marks is more than 35 that person is pass if uh, is less than 30, 35 it's fail or if it's on 35 then it's in a boundary line so this macro is working so how we can uh, this is the way we can use this one so we can use the multiple else if also for example if I just want to use another else if so I can place it uh, after else if loop but else will come at the last so after else it will be finished so else statement okay this is the one statement we have used if you want to execute multiple statement uh, statement or multiple operation for example one thing i have written like uh, this person is pass second thing i want to uh, that particular password should be comes in green so i can write here so i'll just copy this one this value i just want to give as in a color font color will be dot font dot color is equal to vb green okay and the same thing if the fail then it will become in red control c and it will be vb red or if it's now on boundary line let it be on black only okay so let's run this program now and what the result it will give let's see so I am just running and it will give me the 22 fail, fail, pass, pass and boundary line. So this is all about how we, we can use this particular if, if else or if else if and then else and then end if function. So this is all about today's if statement. So let's move to our presentation. So we have seen the example of student grant 
and in next class we will learn about select case statement okay and thanks for watching and keep learning and if you like this one please share do like and subscribe and if you have any query you can write in comment section thank you